Welcome to this new segment of Victory Sports. Today we're going to be talking about the pop pass RPO and a few different variations you can use to attack any, any defense that you might be facing on game day. I'm Coach Ryan Swingle, and before we get started, if you haven't followed us on Twitter, Instagram, uh, subscribe to us on Facebook or YouTube, you can do so at Victory Sports. So diving into the pop pass RPO, uh, the base run scheme that I prefer to run this out of is just some sort of an inside zone, mid zone uh, scheme where we're locking up the backside defensive end and defensive tackle and even front, making sure that the front four and the Mike linebacker are accounted for. Uh, off this basic read, the first variation that we'll talk about, the quarterback is simply going to be reading this minus one linebacker that we have highlighted here. If he wants to fill on the run, uh, he will simply pull the ball and replace him with the tight end H-back uh, running up the seam on this pop pass RPO. If he does settle back and drop into the throwing lane, into the throwing window, the quarterback will then give the ball to the running back and he will carry out the run action. Now the second variation we'll talk about attaches a pre-snap gift for a quick screen out to the perimeter uh, with either a simple bubble from number two or a now screen from number one. Uh, the quarterback will initially look pre-snap to see if he has leverage for the quick screen. So does he have numbers? In this case, he needs to have one over two. So if that linebacker was to shift in to the box to bracket the H-back, uh, that would not be a good look for the pop pass RPO. And now we can simply swing it out to the bubble screen number two. In this case scenario, uh, the quarterback would be working to that post-snap read that we talked about in the first uh, diagram there as he'd be reading the minus one linebacker to fill on the run, replace him over top with the throw, as that pre-snap gift is taken away with two over two, not giving us good leverage for the bubble. This third variation will build off of that second variation, uh, and essentially it'll just give us a option to attack middle of the field open and middle of the field closed coverage. So we'll still have the pre-snap gift on, so if there is leverage uh, and good numbers to the bubble, the quarterback will just get the ball out quickly and take it right now. Uh, and then now, as opposed to strictly just having the pop pass read, if that pre-snap gift is taken away, he'll look to look for a middle of the field open or middle of the field closed coverage uh, based on where the safeties are aligned. So in this picture, it's middle of the field open, so he would still work to that same uh, pop pass RPO reading that minus one linebacker. If he fills on the run, he'll replace him over the top. If he wants to drop back into that passing window, he will hand the ball off and the running back will take the ball on the run action. Now here's a better picture of the middle of the field closed coverage with that one high safety. The pre-snap gift is taken away and now we have that overhang defender bumped into the box to give us bad numbers for the run game whether or not that minus one linebacker does declare into the run fit. So now the quarterback seeing that would look to get to his middle of the field closed read which would be the first linebacker uh, play side of that overhang defender and since that overhang defender is tucked into the box he will just really look to influence him with his eyes and he knows pre-snap that he's probably going to pull the ball out and replace him on that glance route. Now in this last diagram we'll look at a basic cover three look here with that overhang defender to the middle of the field closed read side uh, being a true overhang and with that the quarterback really has to make a smart decision here is that middle of the field safety in a position to take away the pop pass rpo in this case uh, it's a little bit of a gray area here so the quarterback would be okay with that overhang playing at such depth in that glance window to really still keep uh, on that pop pass rpo with that safety not playing over the top of it now if he was shifted a little bit over uh, to take away that seam uh, right up the middle there. The quarterback would then work to the middle of the field close read. So if that overhang does uh, post snap declare into the run fit to be that extra fitter play side, uh, he'd replace him with the glance. And if not, he would just hand the ball off uh, on the run. This is the uh, my least favorite look to run this to. In this case, I would prefer to just keep that backside H back attached, take care of the six box defenders, and now read that overhang on the glance route post snap. So now we'll get into some cut-ups here uh, from some Big 12 teams running this pop pass RPO. Uh, this first one will be from West Virginia. We're going to have this outside receiver come in jet motion, a good way to influence that uh, backside safety to come down and really fit in the run, also get those uh, linebackers really come up and fit hard. So here we're going to be reading that backside inside linebacker. He fills on the run fit. Now we get the ball at the seam of the tight end. So once again, our initial read here will be this backside Linebacker here, O-line will account for one, two, three, four, and five. 
Now once he fits into the run fit, we get this guy coming hard off the edge to try to take away the jet. This linebacker fills, and now we'll replace him over the top. Better look here. Still going to be reading this guy. Even though there's all this window dressing, guys moving around here, we're still just going 5 for 5 with the 5 most dangerous. This backside overhang come down. We get it up the seam. Once he fills wide, we can get that up the seam. Big gain here. Same thing here, but starting out of a two by two formation. We got the tight end attached here on the backside. Uh, so here, once again, we got middle of the field open coverage. A good look here uh, for the pop pass RPO. This time we're gonna be reading the minus one linebacker. This would be the mic here pre-snap. Got the O-line counting for one, two, three, four, and then up to that fifth linebacker inside. This jet motion, a really good pairing. You kind of do that. Or some orbit motion with this guy coming around. West Virginia really likes the jet to try to get this overhang to trigger, take away the jet on the run force, and now we get this um, safety rolling down and take away the flat as well. So here, overhang wants to drive on it. Uh, really nice job of selling that window dressing. This backside inside linebacker, our read guy, will fill hard here. And now this is wide open up the seam as we're still middle of the field open, even though it's technically uh, considered a one high safety coverage. It's still a variation of quarters here with that safety sitting backside on the hash. Better look here from the tight angle. Uh, O-line's going to count five for five. This guy out here, not in the picture, bumps in with the jet. Center needs to work to that guy. But with this backside guard really trying to wash this guy hard down the line, it makes it hard for him. Running back, if he was to get it, would have to adjust his course and really hit that hard outside. Once again, here we get this backside inside fit. Quarterback does a good job pulling it, getting the ball up the middle, the tight end. And this is good to run into the boundary here, as you'll see, because it is middle of the field open coverage, so we can really force this backside uh, boundary safety to commit really in hardened this boundary opens up the middle of the field wide open for this tight end to release up the seam Another jet motion here from West Virginia this time uh, I don't like personally how they leave this backside defensive end accounted for uh, it is a way to do things as we can still handle these front six uh, so it just kind of depends on what the defense is giving you that week. If these guys are really going to try to force you to give the ball on some read option, this might be something to look at. But if that guy really comes hard, he's right in the quarterback's face, makes for a harder throw, I would prefer to at least block the four down linemen <clears throat> if we can keep that H back in on some sort of another RPO. But in this case, we really need to block that backside defensive end with this backside tackle, in my opinion. So here, the quarterback has to adjust his read uh, to being this backside overhang. He fills. So we're really not good to the run fit here to the front side as they really do have better numbers of the run. Thankfully, that guy does commit down to the box, and now we replace him up the seam. Look at the tight here. This guy will bump into the box. He becomes the read guy. This is the first linebacker play side, so we designate him as the mic. We don't have this guy accounted for, so that's why it'd be better to have that uh, play side glance route, possibly, uh, depending on what you want to do here. Hope you enjoyed this video on the Pop Pass RPO. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to follow us and subscribe across all social media platforms at Victory Sports. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at Coach underscore Swingle.